Guys, I thought I would make a video about the LG C2 OLED as a computer monitor. I've heard a lot of great things about people using it for gaming, video editing, everything, watching movies, and it works great as a computer monitor too. It's true 4K. And there's also a version that Republic of Gaming uses. You can look it up online as Tech Tips. He talks about it. And it's got a few more features, but I found one on a really good buy at Best Buy, so I picked it up. One thing that I learned from a few of the Amazon videos is that you can actually mount this monitor on an articulating monitor arm, which is pretty cool. The monitor itself only weighs 19.2 pounds. So that means you can do a lot of really great stuff with it. But the problem is the regular VESA mount that's the 100 by 100 millimeter won't work because the TV uses the bigger. But the good news is that Amazon actually makes a, uh, or actually someone on Amazon makes a 300 by 200 VESA plate that adapts down to the 100 by 100 VESA plate. In addition, I found a really neat way to be able to have a camera on there. On Amazon, there's a camera tray that mounts to the VESA plate. So I actually have three plates together. I've got the VESA 300 by 200, the camera tray, and I'll show you pictures of all this in a minute, and then also the uh, 100 by 100 VESA plate that is on the monitor arm. So I'll talk about how to do all that stuff because I spent all day yesterday going and trying to figure out how to get the screws to work and stuff. So let's take a look. Okay, sorry for the weird bed spread, but at least it's colorful. So here is three different things. You've got the 300 by 200 VESA plate, which if you look at this, one thing I wanna say is you're gonna to wanna to go get screws. The screws that I put in here are really way too long but you're gonna wanna get flat screws because these holes are countersunk. So when you have them flat, it's nice. You don't wanna put them on with the regular screws that this plate comes with because they will bubble up and they'll scratch the back of your monitor. So the best bet is to go to a Ace Hardware because I had trouble finding these at Home Depot and Lowe's, but they're M4 screws. And as long as you get like a, at least a 10 or 15 millimeter length of an M4, you should be just fine. These are star, but you can find um, Phillips head as well. Okay, so the next thing is the camera tray. So when this is on the back of the monitor, the monitor is in front of, of this, and the you can stick lights and cameras and all kinds of stuff on there. And the cool thing is, this actually comes with some screws, some thumb screws that you can put the, the monitor uh, camera on with or the light bar or whatever. Now, the arm that I'm using is the just the Amazon basic arm. And don't worry, I'm going to link to all this stuff in the description so you can get it on Amazon. The arm was, I think, maybe a hundred bucks. Uh, the plate was like 30 and I think this was like 30 or 40 might might have been even less but um one thing about the monitor arm that you're going to want to do which i didn't realize is down here there is a allen wrench screw that you turn to tension because when i first put the tv on i didn't realize that it was able to be tensioned and so it kept dropping and i was really bummed out and then i reread the directions and Remember that I was an idiot for not reading them in the first place. So there's that. The other thing is when you put this on the back of the TV, you want to make sure it's centered. Now, even though it's centered, this side right here is going to overlap onto a little bump on the back of the monitor. But don't let that bother you. Just go ahead and screw it in there. Or if you want to be real particular, what you could do is you could just cut from here over. But I didn't feel the need to do that. And the TV only weighs 19 pounds anyway, so it was fine. Okay, so I'm gonna cut over now and I'm gonna show you what it looks like once it's mounted. But before I do that, let me say this. You want to do everything that I've done here in this order. And 
when you put these on, you're gonna go big vase of plate to camera tray to this monitor arm part. The other part of the monitor arm is over here. And the other thing is, you're gonna wanna pull up on this and make sure that once you've got this, before you tighten these down too much, you're gonna have to have a, either a, a wrench or I used a long socket to tighten it while you're screwing it down. But you also wanna make sure that you take a level and once you put that on there, before you tighten too much, you wanna take a level and make sure that this is level because it can shift as you're screwing it in there. But that's definitely the easiest way to do it. And then you save the end for the TV once you've got all that done. All right. Okay, so now I've got the LG C2 42 inch OLED fresh out of the box and I'm gonna mount this monitor arm that I put together on it now. So if you'll notice, there's a little bump right here. It's very small and it won't matter. But what you wanna do is once you put these on here, you're going to want to slide it over, even though it looks like it shouldn't go that way. You want to, you want to, let's see. You want to be about right there, which should be just about dead center. You want to be right there, which is going to be about dead center on the TV. If I can figure out where the other, oh, there we go. There we go. That's dead center there. But you can see how the camera tray sits, and that'll hold lights and all kinds of stuff. Now, remember, if you put an SLR on here and a light, you may need to tension this arm. And remember, the tensioner is in there, and it comes with a long Allen key that you need to tension it. So you should be good there. And then I would highly recommend just checking everything with a level. I've noticed that this particular camera tray may be just a hair out of level. Uh, in regards to the TV, but it's minuscule. And just remember, if you put a camera on there, you can get a pivot gimbal so that you can make any adjustments on the camera that you need. And then you can just tighten up if you need more. But I do like having this on the desk. And when the arm is fully back, which I'll show you here, You're, you're going to be back from the desk maybe maybe 12 inches. Now, if I wanted to, I could have moved this arm this way and had this straight out, but I didn't mind having the desk out from the wall because it gives me a lot of freedom to pull the TV up or down. And as a matter of fact, I mean, now that it's on there, I can go all the way down at desk level, which is great. So if I'm shooting a podcast or anything like that, the camera can be really at eye level and I don't have to look up to it. So I hope that helps. Okay, so a couple of key points. When you're building the VESA plates together, before you cover the TV with the VESA plate, you wanna make sure that you've got that little screw in the rotator plate before you cover it up because you won't be able to do it later, because remember, you really don't have like any kind of a tensioner on the rotation plate. So I just decided to lock mine into place. And then I will link below for the parts and things that you need, and it should be real easy. I think my total investment on this was maybe 150 bucks, if I remember right, it was right around there, but totally worth it. And I'll put all the parts and pieces that you need and I would highly recommend going to Ace Hardware for the screws. You'll be a lot easy, it'll be a lot easier to find them there. All right, hope this helps. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm passing this along. I'd originally gotten the idea from a guy on YouTube uh, who showed the plate, but he didn't show anything about how to put this thing together. And it took me a few hours to really size everything up and get it right. So I'm hoping this video kind of explains a little bit more about what he was doing. Thanks. Bye.